More and more news about the specs Galaxy S23 Ultra keep appearing as its release date draws near, and we're here to address some of them for you. <laughs> okay, great, great. The chipset is one of the specs we adore because it gives you access to features like the hexagon engine's ability to distinguish between skin, lips, hair, and bodies, and the cognitive ASP's ability to process each of these elements separately so that you always get the best possible image. To know more, join us as we discuss them. Let's get into it. Let's start. New Camera Sensor Samsung will use a 200 megapixel sensor as the main camera on the Galaxy S23 Ultra for the first time. It is supposedly one first three inches in size and has a pixel size of 0.6 meters and an aperture of f1.7, enabling it to capture more light. ICE Universe claims that the main camera of the S23 Ultra has been improved over the Galaxy S22 Ultra's performance in low light. According to a tweet by user ICE Universe, Galaxy S23 Ultra night photography and night video have been greatly improved. Amazing! But when the product launches, we'll know for sure, so be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing. When it comes to video, the new custom-made primary camera sensor is thought to be able to do 8K 30 frames per second and dual HDR when shooting in 4K and FHD. Wow. This means that the phone will be able to take great photos with more even lighting. To compete with Apple's action mode, which was introduced with the iPhone 14 series, Samsung may be working on an ultra-stabilization feature for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. There is also another feature Samsung is emulating from Apple, and we shall discuss that later. Improved Fingerprint The ultrasonic fingerprint scanner of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is made by Qualcomm, and is third generation. The Qualcomm 3D Sonic Max is about 10 times bigger than the 3D Sonic Gen 2 scanner found in the Galaxy S21 Ultra and Galaxy S22 Ultra, which has a surface size of 20mm x 30mm. The IQ09 Pro and the Vivo X80 Pro are two examples of homegrown smartphones that use Qualcomm's 3D Sonic Max tech. Safer than 3D Sonic Gen 2 and five times more accurate, it requires the simultaneous use of two fingers. In addition, simplified fingerprint enrollment can be accomplished with a single button press. It's just a button! Satellite Communication Apple integrated a satellite-based emergency SOS feature into iPhone 14 models. Samsung, it seems, will join the fray with its upcoming Galaxy S23 series. In order to offer this same level of secure backup connectivity, Samsung will be partnering with Iridium Communications and its network of 66 low-orbit satellites. It has been speculated that Samsung's implementation will be limited to sending standard text messages and low-resolution images, just as Apple's implementation is limited to sending emergency SOS texts and sharing position information. Okay, okay, okay. This is gonna be fun! This feature helps users pinpoint their location by sharing photos of clearly identifiable places in the region. If you ever go running and get lost in the woods, you won't have to worry since this function will allow you to get in touch with others for assistance. Battery While the Galaxy S23 Ultra's battery capacity will be the same as that of the Galaxy S22 Ultra, Samsung has utilized its own technique to boost the phone's durability. Samsung's new light mode, which debuted on the Galaxy Z Fold 4, will be used on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The new light mode may moderately reduce performance while greatly reducing power consumption without affecting refresh rates. Light mode would not change how the game is played because the settings for Game Booster are handled separately. Also, the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is the chipset, will help the Galaxy S23 Ultra have a longer battery life. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 gives the S23 Ultra more features, and we'll talk about them with you. So brace yourself, Daddy. Chipset. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 has a 200 megapixel resolution, as well as He 265 and VP9 codecs. Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and Gen 2 capture 4096 times the amount of camera data as its 14-bit predecessors. It indicates that photographs' great dynamic range and color potential may be expanded with additional data. To optimize and offer the finest picture results, the Cognitive ASP and Hexagon Engine 
can distinguish grass, sky, skin, lips, hair, and bodies in real time. Wow, just like that. Qualcomm's real-time segmentation filter sharpens, adds color, and changes saturation as required. To protect your privacy, the Allen Ways sensing camera detects when another person enters your selfie photo. For instance, if someone on the bus next to you attempts to peep at your screen, the chipset will detect it as a mask. In terms of security, information stored on smartphones powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 mobile platform is securely safeguarded, reducing the possibility of unauthorized access. Snapdragon sound is used by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for high-quality calls, music, and gaming. With Snapdragon sound-enabled smartphones, you can listen to high-quality music anywhere, with the sound automatically adjusting to background noise and interference. Real-time hardware-accelerated ray tracing is the most intriguing advance in gaming since it will improve the realism of mobile games by, among other things, portraying lighting and shadows more accurately. The combination of Unreal Engine 5 with the MetaHuman framework, which is meant to build realistic human characters, is also supported. That's cool stuff, man! Qualcomm promises that the Adreno GPU in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 would be 25% faster while consuming 45% less power. This should result in longer playing sessions with lower power usage. Release Date Two reliable sources have reported that the Galaxy S23 series would be unveiled on February 1. This date is a mutual agreement between Ice Universe and OnLeaks. The initial price of the Galaxy S23 Ultra is predicted to remain at $1,199.99, while there have been reports in Korean media that it would cost more owing to inflation. However, the report in question only applied to the pricing in South Korea. In any case, you need to put away just approximately $1,300. To compete with the iPhone 14 and 15 Pro versions, Samsung will need to release a Fire flagship device, and it seems like the Galaxy S23 Ultra will be it as it contains the biggest camera sensor on an S-Line phone to date, with the greatest low-light shooting capability. So which one of the specs are you excited for? We'd love to hear from you so share your thoughts with us in the comments section below.